What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So, today we have Gyro Zeppeli from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Steel Ball Run. Definitely one of the coolest characters in, in all the Jojo series. Um, so, as with most Jojo characters, they're not easy to draw because they're never in like a straightforward pose. So, I found like the most straightforward one maybe. Um, there is some easier ones, but there, there's not a lot of detail in the face and stuff. So I picked this one. It's a pretty iconic image. The only thing is that it's kind of, his head is tilted to the, so it's, his head is tilted like this way. So that would be the center line for his head, just here. And his head is tilted back a little bit, which means we can see like the underneath of his nose and a bit of the underneath of his chin and like the inside underneath of his hat so do your best use a pencil hit pause a lot and hopefully it'll work out for you hopefully it'll work out for me <laughs> okay so we're going to start with his hat so the line for his hat so it's like right here the corner of my page and it's going to curve all the way over to like here so he's a real big cowboy hat on, okay? So these two points are gonna to join together with a curved line. So the, the top of this curved line goes right across his head here. So I'll just add some dashes maybe to help us out. So this is gonna go all the way across. So that's So this is the kind of arc you're going for. I think this will help us just get everything in the right place if we do this first. So I'm gonna, just gonna join those all together now. So we're just gonna go follow that arc. So keep going, just a big curved line. Doesn't have to be exactly like this obviously, but So that is the brim of his hat, okay? Now, so, I'm gonna just do in the sides of his face so I can give you the angle for his face, right? So coming down this way. So say on this side, let's see. So we got some hairline, so it's like a bendy wavy line here. And then his other sideburn just comes in here and down like so, okay? So this comes down a bit further. His sideburn curves around here, right? And then we've like some more hair in here coming down that way, okay? So that's like the angle we're going for. So there's his hat and the angle is here. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll finish off the face, just while we're here. It might, it might make things a bit easier. Usually I start with the eyes, but just because it's kind of a bit trickier, maybe we'll do the shape for the face first, so. This is gonna come down just a bit further. So he's got these sort of bumps on his face, so you could add a couple as we go down. Or not, you could do it after if you're doing it with pencil. So this is coming down at the side of his face, okay? And this will come down this side. Like so. So that's like his jaw here. And these are those dashes that he has on his face. Those pieces of metal. And then his chin is just here. So it comes across like so. Just there. So it's that kind of U shape you're going for. So the line for his face is here. Might as well add his uh the things on his face so we got one here another one here there's four on each side so one two one two three 
And then the fourth one is like wraps underneath his chin. And then the same on this side, pretty much. Goes around underneath. Leave a line, line for his chin here, because we're, because we're looking up at his face, we can see his chin underneath here. And I'm drawing this from the manga, so you could add like a couple of, you know, hatching lines, because they haven't done the anime yet for Steel Ball Run. It'd be really tricky, I'd say, with all the horses and things. Such a good manga. Definitely suggest anyone who hasn't read it to read it. It's really good. Uh, right, so three more on this side. One, two. They're just little rectangles coming up onto his face, like so. So now that we have the general shape for his face, we'll go up and do his eyes. Okay, so. So imagine the middle line is here, and we're gonna come over and start with his right eye. So, up like so first, and then across. Top eyelid, then comes down the side, just here. Bottom eyelid then comes back around. They're fairly realistic eyes, Jojo characters. Comes back around, back up, like so. And then you can thicken it up and add those big long Jojo eyelashes that the characters have, so. So just adding eyelashes now. Just there, and then his iris. So it, it's just brackets, the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid cut off the tops of his iris and the bottom. So you just curve it around like so, curve this around like so, and then put his pupil in the middle, just there. So we're eye distance apart because Jojo characters are in proportion. So if you measure his eye, you fit another eye inside the middle there between the tear ducts. So we're here. Now the thing is the angle of his face, remember? So just remember, this eye is lower down. So it's gonna go up this way. And then it'll go down that way. So we're down here now. Top eyelid. And then we have his bottom eyelid just here. Goes around like so back up the other side. And there's all like eyelashes and stuff here. Now, these don't have to touch, they don't have to be the same on both sides. They're usually not in the way the artist, uh, the Jojo artist draws his characters. They're sort of different on both sides. There might be a line like that maybe for his eyeball. And then you add eyelashes and stuff. And his iris and his pupil in there. So curve line, curve line. Dot in the middle. And then, so we have eyelid line. So we have a line up like so. Comes across the top of his eye just here. And goes up underneath his hat for his sort of his brow. You can make the eyelashes maybe a bit longer. And then same thing pretty much over here. So we do eyelid line following the top shape for his eye just here. Down this side and with a sort of a brow line that comes up and around here. It goes up to his eyebrow then here. So it just curves around like so. On this eye, there is a, a bit more detail just underneath the eye like here and a line coming down here as well on this eye. Now so as eyebrows we can just see a bit of eyebrow just here coming underneath his hat so it goes down like so and then back under 
and it's dark, dark black, like so. And there's a line for just the bridge of his nose, just here. And on the other side, we can see maybe a line for the bridge of his nose on top. And this curves around for his eyebrow. So this goes like off up underneath the hat then this way. So it goes off this way. Just so there meets that one. And then it's kind of dark just in here. Might be some more details just here. Like so. So the nose, so it's the sort of typical way he draws his noses. He, he, he doesn't put like as much, he puts more emphasis in the eyes and the lips than he does noses. So basically it's a V. So we're going diagonal this way. So I'll draw that line. So we have a diagonal line like this because we can see the underneath of his nose because we're looking up at him. Like the camera is like taking a picture of him from below. Just if you imagine it's like a camera shot. So we've this line diagonal going this way. And then there's a V just underneath here. It's like an arrow pointing down. And then a nostril here, which is just like a dash like that. And a nostril on this side, which is just like a big thick line like that. And then we have just a line coming up the side here and around. So it goes up like so. And maybe a light line going up to there. And then some dashes that go across the bridge of his nose. So it's like those sort of hatching lines, you know. Like so. And then we have a line just for the side of his lip, just coming down from his nose. And this joins that top line for his lip. So it's gonna go up like a bird wings, right? So it's like a long, like when you draw a bird flying in the sky, so it's like a this sort of shape. It's like a stretched out letter M. So it goes down, back up, and then down on that side or it's like the handle of a bow and arrow. This way. Now the middle the center line of his lips where the bottom and top lip join, we do that line again. So we curve it around, you know, like so. And then the bottom lip is real big, so it's like down here. So it curves around, it's like a W just there and I might have some hatching you might thicken it up because we can see underneath we're seeing it from the bottom so you could like add some shadow and stuff if you wanted you can add some shadow to his nose as well on the bottom but it's not essential maybe just a bit on top here or some, some hatched lines just here just kind of to show that there's a bit of a shadow underneath it. Be interesting to see how he's done when they do the the anime. It'd be pretty cool to see how he's drawn. So JoJo characters sometimes have these lines that come down just the side of their jaw, just here. So come in, he just has a small one coming down like so. And a little bit here as well, coming down. Like so. And there's a bit of a shadow just underneath his eye here.
because he has a hat on, so there's there's lots of sort of cast shadows and stuff coming down the side of his face. And yeah, that's the majority of his face. There is more shadows. I can see much more shadows on the on the image I'm drawing from, but I don't want to make it too complicated for you because it's already complicated enough. So that's his face and now his ears. So we're just gonna add an ear in here. So curves up here. They're lower down because his head is tilted back. So normally the top of the ears would line up with his eyebrow, but because his head is tilted back, they're lower. They're actually in line with his nose and the bottom of the ears in line with the bottom of his lip. So we'll bring it down, back around up to there. And you can add some bones and ligaments. So you do line. You can do these, these lines, like you could leave it like that if you wanted, or you could add a bit more detail. You know, you could add some hatching inside, make some parts darker if you wanted. Totally up to you. And then we can see his ear on the other side as well, so just here. His head is tilted back, so we can see kind of less of this ear. It's kind of bumping out a little bit. You can barely see it, really. Just there. Kind of goes in just behind his neck here. And maybe we can see a line or two of the bones and the ligaments. Just in here. It's real dark down here. And then the other line for his neck is just here, coming down from that ear. And there might be a shadow just underneath, just there. He does have lines on his top lip as well, actually, I forgot that. Just these thin sort of lines, just like so. So his hair then, and then we'll do his hat. So, let's see. So his hair on this side. So we'll go this side first. So it comes wavy down like that. It's gonna go real long, go, goes right behind his shoulder. So we have spikes and stuff coming down like so. Spiking out there. Here. It's real long hair. <clears throat> goes up and it goes off my page about there. And then he's a long piece of hair coming right down from his ear. Like about here, and it goes across his shoulder. And down across his body, so it goes like down to here. The other side of it is this way, coming down like so. And then it has some waving lines just on it here. And yeah, so then his neck and shoulder, so we could see maybe some of his costume, his shoulder just here. And this goes up to his neck and his collar that goes around his neck just there. And then this travels down off the page that way. And then the other side of the collar is just over here. And the inside of it, the inside of it then travels this way. This curves down this way. Down around and back up into there. There's more details in here, but we'll finish his hair on this side, on his shoulder first. So, bumping across, bumping down, bumping across and down. So these these are those straps that are across his shoulder, that's why it's bumping here. Because he's got like these brown leather straps on. This goes off my page. And then the rest of his hair, we can put it in now, so... 
hair spike. This comes down like that to another hair spike. Goes back in. It's fucking down. Spikes up this way to a bigger one. Back down. Spiking up. Back down. And then one that goes down and off the page. I might come back in here and then go down again. So we just have to add some like lines for his hair, just on his, just here. Not there's not too many actually. Just a couple here, giving it a little bit of detail. Detail, not too much. Maybe some coming down this side. And yeah, and then his neck. So he has he has a big dark shadow under his neck, just here. Comes down around his Adam's apple, just there. And then this shadow comes up and joins his chin, just here, and it's dark black. And he might have like a neck muscle here and a neck muscle coming down that way. And maybe the other side of it there. This is all done with hatching in the picture, but I'll, I'll just do a line. I'll just try and make it sort of more anime rather than manga because <clears throat> the hatching might be a bit much. Okay, so hat, goggles, and then we'll finish his body. So. The rim of his hat, so it comes back down around his hair there, and then this goes back down around his hair here. And then he has see-through sort of strips inside, so like where the light comes in and always puts like lines on his face if you were coloring it in. So like the sunlight gets through. There's one on there. And then three over here, so one there. Might have an edge to them that we can see on some of them. And the last one is just here. Like so. And they're all, that's dark black inside. So I'll speed that up. Okay, right, so the rest of his hat and his goggles. So the rim of his hat comes up just here. So even like an extra edge. Just down to there. Okay, and then same over this side. So we bring it down like so. And then in here he has those those goggles that he wears. So it's kind of like a letter a no, letter eight. <laughs> yeah, the letter eight. Do you know the letter eight? The number eight. <clears throat> um, so curve it down like so. That side. Curve it down like. So. So on this side, and then, so it goes across the top, and then up and around to about there, and then you do pretty much the same thing on the bottom. So it goes underneath, comes up and down, like so. And on this side, he, you can see just a bit of the strap that holds it on to the back of his head. Just goes down behind his hat there. And then we have the inner parts to that. So we just draw a long sort of hole here inside. Another one on this side as well. So it just curves around like so. And then there's two more thin holes just on the bottom here. So this it's like ticks and that's a hole inside and then the other one 
just there. And then there's three small ones just coming down this way. Two, three. And then two more. So one here. They're very thin. Barely see this one. It's nearly just a line, really. Just across like that. Uh, we might see the inside of this one, just there. And then the top of his hat. So it just comes up and across like this. It's a real small sort of top, just across like so, and down into there. And then he has more of those these holes just along here, but they're they're dark black inside. So because it's on top of his head. So one here, one here, one here. Maybe one here, and it comes up then top of his hat there, and another one on this side. And then we have a shadow like here. And then circles, I think. Circles, just here. One, another one under here. Two, three, another one, four, five. And you can just see the edge to those, so like that. And they're dark black everywhere except that edge. And like maybe on this too, maybe here. Uh, so they're dark black. Okay, so that's his hat done. Right, so his So his costume. So he has two straps that come down across his body. So we've say one here. You can see mostly this one. So it's like a curvy line. Comes back up over his shoulder here. The other one's over this side, so it comes down from his hair, wraps around here, goes back up, say, say like here, so it goes around like so, like that. And this has like an edge to it, so it's like a double line going around. Makes it look kind of like it's raised up at the sides, just going around it like that. Same over here. Do, do, do. Like so, and they have jewels or green balls just on them, so kind of like his weapon. Put one there, and there's like a line just sort of in the middle here, just making it look like it's a bit shiny or raised up. It's like a wavy line, it's like the same line for his lip, just turned sideways. And then, this line here, same thing again really, just a wavy line, coming around like so. There is hatching on these as well, you could add that if you wanted. But you don't have to add too much really, it's just like this is the shadow side say. The light's coming from this direction if you wanted to do that, of course. And then these straps go down the side of his body, down that way, like that. They have an edge as well, just sort of a raised up edge, like so. And the other one is over here, so it goes down this way. We can see less of it, like that, give it an edge. And what can we see of his arm on this side? Not much, just goes off that direction. That shoulder goes off that direction. 
And that strap should actually go further. Sorry about that. Should go up here. And that could be like a dark shadow. <clears throat> um, we can see his arm sort of go off this way on this side. And he has a t-shirt there and another line for like a tattoo, I think, or a strap that goes across that dark black, actually. This is dark black, this part. So those straps like go across his arm. And this is purple. And then he's another bit of a, let's see. Another bit of a strap that goes across this way, down there. Goes around his back, sort of goes around his body that way. And then more of his arm, I think, comes down this way. Difficult to see, but whatever you can fit in, fit it in. This strap has an edge as well, like so. And this is like more body sort of in here. Right, so straps, color of his top is up here. So we have a collar. So it comes down like so, and then it comes around. It comes around and up the other side to there. And then that's the same sort of thing. Like so. And then there's like an edge to these just here. And around like that and a lot of this is in shadow but I won't trouble you with that we'll just give this a raised edge as well and maybe some lines just coming across in there into the middle now so then he has more of those balls on his on his body so we want here another one underneath his hair just here and then four across his chest so let's see so we've one let's say here another one here another one up along here it can turn sideways a little bit just next to the strap and then the final one should be right close to this strap here, curving around. Just there. And then it has those wavy lines on them as well. Just to show where the shadow side of those are. Add as much of that hatching as you'd like. like here, more shadow on this side, more shadow here, and maybe line there. And these all have darkness, darkness. There is lots of details on his um, costume as well, but I don't think I'll add. Like, I've seen him drawn with them and without them, so. Mm, I might add just a line for his chest, maybe just coming around underneath here. barely see it here, there might be some. And we on this side. Hmm. Which 
choices, choices. So we're just gonna add maybe some of these lines here. I have seen his costume just colored black all in here and I've seen it like purple with these boxes in it as well, but I think I'll leave it there. I think that's enough for now. <laughs> you could just color that black because I've seen it done that way as well. Um, and these are like green. So there he is. Gyro Zeppeli, go, Ze go, go Zeppeli. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.